Welcome! In this video, I'll show you how to find percentages of quantity using calculator as well as non-calculator methods. Percentages are special fractions that have the denominators of 100. Percent means out of 100. For example, when people say 25%, it really means 25 per 100. Or as a fraction, it's 25 over 100, which can be also written as 25 with the percentage symbol. Percentage can often appear in non-calculator exam papers. That's why we need to be able to find percentages using non-calculator methods. For example, if you want to express 30 as percentage of 50, we write it as a fraction first, 30 as your numerator and 50 as your denominator. All you have to do now is change the denominator of the fraction so that it is out of 100. Since 50 multiplied by 2 is 100, we multiply the top and the bottom number of your fraction by 2 to give 60 over 100. 30 as a percentage of 50 is just a number in the numerator of the new fraction which is out of 100. Therefore, it's just 60%. How about this example? How can you express 16 as a percentage of 40? In this case, our numerator is the first number 16 and the denominator is 40. However, 100 is not in the times table of 40. How can you express this as a fraction of 100? Even though 40 does not divide 100 exactly, we can first convert this fraction to over 200 as 40 times 5 is 200. Therefore, multiply the numerator 16 and denominator 40 by the number 5 to change the fraction to 80 over 200. Now we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 2 to give 40 over 100. So now we can say that 16 is 40% of 40. Some percentages are very well known as fraction 2. For example, 10% is equivalent to 1 over 10, 25% is equivalent to 1 over 4, and 50% is 1 over 2. So if you want to find out 10% of something, we can find the amount just by dividing the given amount by 10 or multiplying by 1 over 10. If you want to find 25% of something, we can find the amount just by dividing the number by 4 or multiplying by 1 over 4. And if you want to find 50%, we can divide by 2 or multiply by half. These fractions are super helpful when you want to find the percentages, so learn them by heart. Let's now use them to find 130% of 220. First find 10% of 220 by dividing 220 by 10, which gives just 22. Since 130% is 13 times more than 10%, we can simply multiply the 10% value by 13 to give 286. Now this multiplication may not be straightforward for mental calculations for some students, but we can also use the long multiplication to verify this answer if not sure. Let's look at another example. Say you want to find out 75% of 124. Find 25% of 124 first. Remember 25% is equivalent to 1 over 4. So we can divide 124 by 4 to give 31. 75% is 3 times more than 25%. Therefore, we multiply the value of 25%, which is 31, in this case, by 3 to give 93. So 75% of 124 is 93. In this section, we will now discuss about how we can use calculators to find percentages. Remember, you still need to show you're working out when using calculator to find percentages in order to gain the full credit in your exam. So don't just write the final answer and expect to get all the marks given in the exam. Pay attention to the number of marks given to each question. One of the most popular methods in finding percentages of an amount is to change the percentages to decimal by dividing by 100 and multiply the decimals by the amount. For example, if you want to find out 58% of 270, change 58% to decimal by dividing by 100 in your calculator. But we expect you to be able to do this in mental methods too, as dividing by 100 is means just moving the decimals to the left twice, which gives you 0.58. Then we can use your calculator to multiply 0.58 with the amount 270 to give 156.60. 
Now, in this step, we do expect you to use a calculator, otherwise you are classed as seniors. We have already demonstrated how we can use fraction and decimals to find percentages in previous examples. Conversions between fraction to percentages and to decimals are really important to know as it helps you to simplify your calculation steps when finding percentages. In order to change the fractions to decimals, we first divide the numerator by the denominator of the fraction. And we can just multiply the decimal by 100 to change to percentages. For example, in order to change 7 over 8 to decimals, we simply divide the numerator 7 by its denominator 8. This can be done in your calculator to give you 0 0.875. Once this is in decimal form, we can change to percentages by multiplying by 100. So multiply 0 0.875 by 100 to give you 87.5%. Remember to follow it up with a percentage symbol. Similarly, to change 5 over 8 to percentages, we can divide 5 by 8, which gives you 0 0.625. And we can multiply 0 0.625 by 100 to convert this into percentages, which is equal to 62.5%. Sometimes we can change fraction directly to percentages by multiplying by 100. For example, if you want to write 3 over 5 as a percentages, we can simply multiply 3 over 5 by 100 in your calculator, which then will give you 60%. Or you can also use the non-calculator way to simplify this fraction. Depending on the size of the numbers you are dealing with, we can even cancel the fraction to simplest form. In this case, 5 divides 5 as well as 100 to give 1 and 20. It then multiplies 20 with 3 to give you 60%. Don't forget the percentage symbol after converting it to percentages. It is also possible to reverse the process and change the percentages to decimals and decimals to fractions. In order to change percentages to decimal, we simply divide the percentages by 100. And to change the decimals to fraction, we use the place value such as tenths or hundredths and simplify those fractions wherever that is possible. For example, 45% can be changed to decimals by dividing it by 100 to give 0 0.45. 0 0.45 then can be put into fraction as there are two digits after the decimals. We can simply convert this into fraction over 100. So write down as 45 over 100. However, this can be simplified further as 45 over 100 can both be divided by 5 to give 9 over 20. 45 divides 5 to give you 9 and 100 divided by 5 would give you 20. If you find this video useful for you, please click like. If you think someone else can benefit from it, please share. And if you want to hear from me again, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Be sure to try the exercises to test your knowledge. I'll see you in the next part.